screw up here, Ryan. No, you're not Ryan. Um, Brandon. Right here. Right there. So you subtract um, 58. You subtract 13 from 58, what do you have? 45. So I'm 45 years older than you. Now this young man seems like he want to go to school and not turning us any assignments. He just turned 13. No, 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 no. And he's not turning his, any assignments. So now I asked him, what's the problem? This is your team. So what's your problem? You just what? I, just don't do it. I can't hear you. I don't do it. You don't do it, why? I'm asking you. I want to answer the question. Why? Why don't you do it? There's no such thing as I don't know. See, right now, you got an attitude. You got a bad attitude, because there's no such thing as a good attitude. Now you got a bad attitude. And you're, you're being disrespectful and all that, but the only person is losing is you. If I traded places with you right now, knowing what I've been through in life and knowing what life has to hold, I would try to get as much education as I possibly can. Not only from the school, but also from other sources. But you don't want to turn in your assignments. You have, is your uh, father in your life? Yes. What does he have to say about it? One last time you talked to him. Yesterday. What did he say about it? Does he know? Yes. What does he say about it? I forgot. You forgot? See, now this guy, he's trying to act like he's a tough guy. He's telling he forgot. Now he's, he's sitting up here acting like he's so mad. So what you so mad about, bro? You're not mad. You say you forgot. You forgot what your father said to you yes. yesterday? Yes. So you got a problem, a memory problem? No. So you don't have a memory problem. So what did you, you remember what your dad said? No. So why are you not turning your assignments? And no such thing as I don't know. Why are you not turning your assignments? Why not? Why not? How do you think your mother feels? Disappointed. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, I mean, you can laugh all you want to if you want to, I mean. But you're laughing at it, he's just answering the questions. I'm looking at my mother's obituary up there, and the worst thing I can do is, um, is a, a disappoint my mother. And I've done it several times, and it feels terrible. But that's the worst thing I could do, is disappoint, how you doing my brother, is disappoint my mother. So you don't love, you don't like your mother. You couldn't possibly, I know you don't love her. So you couldn't like her either, if you don't mind hurting your mother's feelings. You live with your mother? Yes. You live with your father? No. So your mother goes to work. You, you, that's funny? That's funny? And you're laughing about it. you laughing because he's laughing? He's still laughing about it. Young man, sign the list. Hand him the pen. Hand him the pen. Sign the list. You know, I don't know what's it going to take talking to you young men. You know, I don't even associate with too many adults because, black adults, because they silly. Hello. Hello. Sign the list. Because they silly. They don't want to build in our community and everything. But you think it's funny at 13. Uh, so I mean, what's so funny about silly? What you're doing right now is a tragedy, brother. Not turning your assignments, not doing your work. And you act, I mean, you just sit at home and do nothing. No. So you don't turn your assignments? Just not those classes. Not those classes, why not? You have a problem with the teacher? So why are you not turning your assignments? 
What's your teacher's name? Miss Jackson. Is she a black woman or a white woman? Black. And so you don't like her? I do like Young her. Young man, tie your shoes. So why are you not turning your assignment? Put it right there, Skyler. Pull the chair up, Skyler, after you finish signing in. So why are you not turning your assignments? I don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do them. So why don't you ask for help? I do. You ask for help from who? Miss Jackson. And what Miss Jackson say? She told us how to do long division. She told you how to do long division and you don't know how to do it? No. Why don't you look it up on YouTube? I don't get it. I did look it up on Khan Academy. You look it up on Khan Academy, that little, that little online school thing that they're doing? They're making all the money in the world. So you still don't understand it. What is it called again? No, no, no. Okay. The math. He's a math teacher. It's like long division with decimals. Long division with decimals. So you don't know how to do them? So why don't you just try? I did. But she said you turned in blank papers. Young man, pull a chair. Get you a chair. Here, here. Pull that one over here. Well, get him a chair. You're not turning in your assignment. You, 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 this long division, you don't know how to do it. What about your other classes? I need to call your mom and ask if you're turning your assignments in other classes. So you know, are you turning them in, in other classes? She says you're not turning. So you're not, there's one class you're not turning your assignments. What's the other class? So English and math, the most important two classes you're not turning your assignments. Yes. So what's the problem with English? She has to write essays and honors. What's wrong with writing essays? What's wrong with writing essays? You can't write? I can. Can you read? Yes. And you can write? Yes. Write on that paper right now, um, I love science. Write on that paper right now. Let me see. So you can write. Yes. Read what that says. Make money versus the you're just going to be silly. Right? 20, Read it now. Under 23 times. Make money. money. So you can't read. But you're not turning in assignments in English. So you want to drop out of school? No. Why not? If you're not doing anything in school, why not drop out? Because I need an education job. You need education to get a job. And to do but apparently you don't. You're not doing your work. You say you need an education to get a job. I mean, you get, well, I don't think it's a job you can get without education. Y'all know of any? Construction. Construction. Wait. He said construction. When you're in construction, do you use a tape measure? No. Yeah. Yes, you do. Do you use a tape measure? Um, do you use a tape measure? Yeah. Do you have to look at blueprints? Uh, what kind of construction are you talking about? I was talking, I forgot, they only hire felons. I forgot. Excuse I me, they only what? Felons. What about up, felons? I mixed up felons with them. So you, no, 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 you mixed, you, 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 you thought felons don't have an education, right? Okay. Hey, Dad, how you doing? It's felons that have education. Martha Stewart is a felon because she was insider trading. So you can't mix a, 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 a felon without having an education. Well, it's not saying they're not educated. So name me a job you can get without an education. Now wait. Go ahead. McDonald's. When you go to McDonald's, when you go to McDonald's and you give them the money, what do they do? Count it. So how you, how you can you do it? Have an education or count? They, they even if they do the cash register thing. You still have to have, have, to, have to have an education. How do you fill out an application? Do you fill out an application for a job at McDonald's? Even if you do it online, right? So you have to have education for that, right? Because you have to read the application, right? 
So name me a job you can get without an education. Name me one. I ain't gonna talk about a business, the ultimate freedom, but name me a job that you can get without education since you don't wanna turn in your papers. You see, since you don't wanna turn in your math and you don't wanna turn in your, um, your reading, your English. And it's for everybody, because now you subtracted 13 from 58, you got 45, right? So like I said, I'm 45 years older than you, so I've been out here in the, in the world. And I see the need for not only the education you get in the school, but education outside of school. See, education doesn't stop when you graduate from high school, not even when you graduate from college. Education doesn't stop. You have to, be, you have to learn all your life. Now you said, you, you, I don't know what, you, what makes you think, because uh, see, people look down at somebody working at McDonald's. I worked at Burger Chef, that's my first job. I worked at Hardee's. Yeah, made three three thirty five an hour, but I went to work every day. It's funny, but in '83 I bought a, I bought a vehicle off that. But you know what? When I when I caught two buses and walked a mile to get to work, go keep laughing. No, 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 you ain't gotta stop laughing. Keep laughing. When I walked two miles, excuse me, caught two buses and walked a mile to work. And the, and the smart bus, have a seat. The smart bus wasn't coming. So when I got off work and my mom got tired of picking me up from Hardee's and, 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 and Burger Chef, I had to either walk home or I had to convince somebody, one of the white people at the job, to take me home. And that was rare. And I walked down Eight Mile. They was calling me all kind of names and all that. But they been out to put their hands on me. I don't care who it was. You can get out that car and act like a racist all you want to. But you put your hands on me, we're going to go to a whole other level. You better kill me. But when I went home and went to sleep, yeah, it's funny. I keep laughing, it's okay. When I went home and went to sleep, when I got up in the morning, I went to school and I did my work. I did. And I graduated from high school. I did. I did my work. See, my mom wasn't tolerating that. And like I say, you get to a point where you have to stop whooping kids. And just look at them like my mother. When my mother looked at me before she passed, she just passed in December. When she looked at me with disappointment, it's like B and B. When she looked at me and said, "You know what? You really, you know, you really let me down." That's the worst thing I can do to a woman who had me at 15 years old. Struggled through life, made sure she raised me and my brothers. Went to work. My mom wasn't on welfare. My mom didn't take food stamps. She went to work every single day. And she couldn't read or write that good. She couldn't. But I had to, when I got an education, I brought that education home. And I said, well, I'm going to help my mom on paperwork or whatever. That's the point of having an education, people, is to bring it back to the family to make sure your mom don't be struggling, your dad don't be struggling or whatever. Because a lot of them, they not really educated, educated, but they got to do what they got to do to make sure that they put a roof over your head, food in your belly. So the least you could do is get an education and help them out. When they need to read an insurance paper, when they need to read a, a, a contract in case they want to get a, 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 a promotion at their job. In fact, they can't read it, but they sent you to school to have an education so you can help them with it. Because that's what I did for my mother and my grandmother. When they called me, when my, grandma, when my mama said, look, go down and pay these bills, go down and talk to, or my grandma said, go, go to the tax bureau and find out why these, why, why, what it was owed on this house or whatever, and come back and explain it to me like a fourth grader. I had to do what I had to do. Because I loved my grandmother. I still do. I love my mother. That's love. I made sure I had an education. Just like my daughter, I made sure my daughter have an education. You gonna be educated or you gonna be in the river. You're not gonna be in my house being no dummy. I'm not tolerating that. See, now if your mother was to just jump off, your mother was to take you and strangle you. Yeah, and break your jaw. You think it's funny. The first thing you're gonna do is pick up the phone and call the police. 
And she said, she, when the police come, she's going to say, you know what, take him out of here. He want to be a bum. And before I let him be a bum, I'm going to put him in the river. See, that's real. Because you ain't going to be around, you know, you could be the bell, she's going to be bailing you out of jail, worried about you, because the first thing you're going to do is go out here and be, now you selling drugs, hanging out with the wrong people, selling drugs, doing dumb stuff, stealing cars, all that old dumb stuff. Now she's like, Shh. now she got to visit you in jail, put money on your books, buy you a coat. Now you crying. Mama, mama. First, first you hear this. Uh, you have a collect call from a, 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 a lockup institution, whatever. Now she got to pay for the phone call to listen to you beg. See? But like I told my bonus children and my daughter, if you go to prison, do not call me. Because you call me, I'm going to laugh at you. I tell people in here, for 15 years, all these students that come in here, if you go to prison, I'm going to laugh at you. Now you come trying to be tough all you want, but I'm going to laugh at you. Because I try to talk to you about going to prison, and you decide you want to go to prison, I'm going to laugh at you. And what you going to do, get tough? Get tough. But I'm still going to laugh at you. Because you're silly and you're a dummy. You're going to waste time. You're going to waste this precious time that you have here right now and not get an education. And you can laugh all you want to, because one thing I'm gonna one thing that we're sitting here right now talking. And if you get in trouble and go to prison, I can at least say it. I try to talk to Isaiah. And Isaiah doing life. So say, how is Isaiah doing? <laughs> Isaiah in prison. <laughs> With his dumb self. Instead of getting out here, getting all this opportunity that's out here for you. Going to school, your mom, your mom go to work, your mom work at the post office, I know your mother. She go to work, like my mama went to work. My mama did 12 hours, six days at Chrysler, by her, and come home and still have a full course meal going. She have a crock pot going the whole nine yards. I had to respect my mother. Four feet 11, 98 pounds. She had her business. Don't sit around and disrespect her. She got, you got tough with her, she said one thing you can do for me, get out. I ain't gotta go upside your head, big fella. Get out. Yeah. Get out here, and then when the nighttime comes, you figure out, dang, I'm sleepy. Where am I gonna sleep? Pay attention. Pay attention. Let's sit up. Sit up. Where am I gonna sleep? In the alley? You laughing? With the with the with the with the possums and the raccoons. It sounds funny, don't it? Keep laughing, but it's okay. I remember that, that laughter you were doing. You don't get your life together. I remember all that laughter you were doing. I'm, that's why I'm going to laugh at you too. Because see, I wouldn't tolerate it from you. Your mother could. Well, you know what I would do with you? If you don't listen, I would take you to the police precinct and drop you off. And say, so you can have this fool. Because your mother don't have to raise you. She ain't got to take care of you. She can drop you off at your father's house or whatever and keep pushing. That's reality, brother. I didn't have to raise my daughter. When my wife passed, she was eight years old. I didn't have to raise her. I could have said, you know what? Mama, send her to foster care. I don't want the responsibility. I ain't have to. See, what you trying to fail to realize? If I got to raise you, what are they going to do? Get mad? Oh, Mr. Ross, we're going to lock you up. Well, do what you got to do, but I don't want that bum around me. I don't want that bum around me. My daughter had to get it together. Well, guess what? I don't know you no more. I'm going to turn deadbeat on you. I ain't going to feed you. You're right. You're laughing. I don't going to feed you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you do. No, I'm not buying no softball equipment. No, I'm not doing nothing for you. Now what? Matter of fact, you can get out. Get in the street. Because I refuse to raise a bum. I refuse for my daughter to be out here, baby mama, a bunch of kids and all that looking all crazy, on welfare broke. Nope. Not mine. Not mine. And like I tell my bonus sons, if y'all, when y'all come around me, they call it step, I call it bonus. You come around me, if you ain't getting your life together, I don't want to talk to you. Go stay in the streets. I don't want to talk to you. You come and talk to me, 
We get, we get, young man, sit down. We get, we get, we get busy around here. See, I don't like people coming here and talking about they not doing their work in school. You know, you got plenty of nerve. You got plenty of nerve. You see, one day if I hear about you on the news that your mother just lost her cool and, and did something to you, we think everybody going to do, oh, the world was so crazy. First thing I'm going to say is, yeah, she lost her cool because she got tired of that. Because let me tell you something. The world going to beast you all the way out when you don't have education. They going to dog you. They going to, ooh, man. They going to, because don't nobody care about you like your mother. Don't nobody care about you for real. Like right now, my mama going, I'm by myself. Don't nobody care about Milton Ross for real. But it's fine. Because I got to that point where, come on with it, life. I can deal with it because I got an education. And I'm still learning. I'm going to be the best I can be until I stop breathing. And my daughter, I'm going to make sure she's the best she can be until I stop breathing. I don't care how she is. It don't stop because she grown. You still my baby. You're going to be greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. Till I drop. I may come back as a ghost. Hopefully I can come back in the afterlife. Hey, what's up, Bree? Let's do some more work. Who was that? That's my daddy. I'm at you. Well, that's how it is. You may see me, but I'm going. They may see Coach Ross walking around and tell you, hey, skip, get, where, you, where your journal at? <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. Come on. Haven't you had several 4.0s? He come in a 4.0, I cash him out when he have a 4.0. Skyler come in here with A's on spelling tests. That's serious. Even Braylon, they had a nerve to tell him they gonna kick him out of military school because they couldn't handle it. He come in every day handling his business. This young man go to Frederick Douglass Academy. He broke it down and told me who Frederick Douglass was. I was so proud, I bragged, I bragged about it to my friends. But guess what? Excuse me, the people I know. A lot of times, people don't want to hear about that positive. But if I'd have, if I'd have told, wait a minute, if I'd have said, uh, my man in prison, I said, man, I got this kid in my school, man. He actually stuck up a gas station, man, at 14 years old. And they beat him down and took him to jail. For real? For real? But if I told him, he sat there going to Frederick Douglass Academy, explaining to me who Frederick Douglass was, straight out. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, man, anyway. So what you going to do, man? You going to continue to not do your work? Huh? You're not going to do it at all, huh? I will. What makes you do it now? What happened? You just have an epiphany, epiphany to do some work? No. Why? She'll see you down to the middle school. What, what school you go to now? Um, MacArthur. What's MacArthur? Where's that at? So where's the ghetto school? You think it's funny? See, 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 what the, see the mentality of that ghetto stuff? See the mentality? He figured it's a ghetto school. What makes it a ghetto school? There was a whole line of people waiting to meet the principal with their parents. And? She couldn't even get to talk to the principal. She couldn't get to talk to the principal? Yes. Almost everyone was in there. So they don't do that in Southfield? No. So they actually have the parents that be doing that? So it's a ghetto school? Yes. So these people that the parents are trying to talk to, them, there's other kids in the school that really want to get education. There's, them, you know, there's some kids in the school who wasn't waiting in line for to see their parents. See, them kids in line acting like you. You in Southfield. What makes you think you're going to go to, you're going to, go to Detroit to do worse? It's get, you acting ghetto yourself. You acting ghetto. You, you don't even deserve to be in Southfield. Actually, you don't deserve to be in any Detroit public school. Or private. You're not lying. You the ghetto. You the bum. You don't, how you going to knock? How you, where did Frederick Douglass at? Frederick Douglass is on. Uh, old Murray Wright in Detroit. Where is Renaissance? Where's Mercy? Mercy. Come on now, is it Detroit? No. Okay, where's, where's Renaissance? 
excuse me, Renaissance. Out of the top 100 schools in Michigan, Renaissance was the only truck public school on the list. Where is Renaissance? Anybody tell me? Help me out. Help me out. Is it Detroit? Is it Detroit? Oh, okay. Nope. Out of the top 100. What? Your sister go to Renaissance. Your sister is a highly intelligent young lady. Highly intelligent young lady. I mean, she do her work. She do her work. Highly intelligent. She goes to Renaissance. Is it in Detroit? So, is it a ghetto school? Why not? Because what? See your thinking. We talked about that yesterday. See how your thinking is? Because you listen to propaganda. You listen to other people talk to you. You convince, oh, it's, that's a ghetto school. If you, if you can go to any school, you can, go to, you can sit at home. You can go to a school, one little room like this, like Mary McLeod Bethune had, and get you an education, brother, if you really wanted it. And you got a teacher that's dedicated enough to say, you know what, I'm going to educate you. So it doesn't matter. You need to ask the front desk. Mr. Harris, you need to ask the front desk. So what you need to do is get your tablet and catch up on your homework, catch up on your work. That's what you need to do. But it's you saying, right, not me. What about Ryan? That was talking about Ray. Did I say Braylon? You did say it, but that's Ryan. I know, that's Ryan. No. What school you go to? Western. Where's Western? Southwest Detroit? Yes. All A's to be a man. Well, thanks for helping me save my money. That was, it's not even a report card. It wasn't a report card. It was a uh, progress report? Yeah. So when you get the report card? Uh, well, the, so, the, so the, it still stands. Straight 4.0s. Cash. Break me. Come in with a 4. Point, break me. Make me say, you know what? I ain't got no money left. I was like this. I ain't got no money left. Y'all broke me. They get it to an A, get it to an A plus. Because I have, everything is an A except for my What, what school is it? What's going correct? What class? Uh, all my... What's the B in? Math. So what you going to do to get, that, get it up to an A? Uh, you know, studying, because I'm already a tutor. I started... What school your sister going to? Oh, uh, Mercy. Why don't you ask your sister for help? Huh? Why don't you ask your sister for help? Group economics. You got, a, you got a genius in the house with you. I'm sticking with you. <laughs> and I don't like that. I don't like that answer. Mm-hmm. You, better, you, you better utilize, excuse me. That's one of your best friends in life. You can, I know, sure. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All you got to do is ask. With them little puppy dog eyes, you be asking your daddy. <laughs> and I bet your sister be like, she gonna, first she'll be like this. She's going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, people. Get to get on your homework, my brother. Anybody else got anything to say about education? What? You got to be a man. Great. What school? What? What's Metro? This is school. What you mean you don't know? Where is it at? It's in the Midwest, Southwest. It's like the Southwest. It's like a school to help you apply for like jobs or like. Something like what you could do. Like Job Corps or something? I think I know what school you're talking about. Or it's like where like you could prepare. It's like a school where you could like prepare for a job and stuff. And Why you like, can't tell me that? I was in the high school. Okay, who didn't sign the list? Who didn't sign the list? Sign the list. Come on, you sign the list? Uh-huh. All right, well, we're about to do some lunches right quick. Because it's kind of like confusing to explain them. I got a school. Because it's like school. It's not just a school. It's everything that's inside of it. Yes. One of them I really want to go to. Because it's like a school. 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 Because it's